Hi guys, welcome to Make 2 and another Sims Free Play Let's Build video. We're gonna build this HGTV house, which we have done a tour of previously on the channel. It's a house inspired by the decorating style of many TV shows on the HGTV channel in America. And it's going to fit on a standard size lot that's 18 by 18 squares. So as usual, if you are following this Let's Build video to try and build this house in your own town, feel free to make whatever changes you want to. This is a video for inspiration only. Maybe you won't agree with some of my choices for decorating and furniture. That's totally fine. Do it how you want to in your own town. If you do create something like this in your own town and share photos of it on social media, like Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, please just let people know that you were inspired by Make2 at YouTube. That would be awesome. So what I'm building here is the downstairs. We're gonna have this big room right here is the living room and this room right here is going to be a hallway for a staircase and then this room right here is going to be the kitchen. You'll see it all begin to take shape as we go on. It's going to be a two-story house so I'm going to add another floor here and it's going to be three bedrooms on the second floor so we're going to start with looks like this is going to be the closet for the master bedroom, master bath, this is going to be the bath for the rest of the house, bedroom number one, and that's going to be followed by a second bedroom at the back here. Next to that is going to be the hallway for that staircase, and then here is the master bedroom. So that's the rooms on both floors done. Now we're going to start with doors and windows, I think. Yep, yeah. So I am going to go with the country homestead doors. And just a note to people who are watching this video around the time that I'm posting it, we are soon to get a rerun of the Country Homestead event, so we will do a video tutorial of that when it comes out, but just be on the lookout. I believe it requires doing the woodworking hobby, so if you don't already have a sim who has unlocked all the possible items in the woodworking hobby, which you do by getting to level six in the woodworking hobby, maybe you should start working on that now, <laughs> just to prepare for the event. So I'm just putting doors around the uh, inside and also accessing the outside of the house. I love that these are big glass doors. I wish that there was a solid version though, because you're gonna see one of those doors at the bottom is gonna be a bathroom. And it's a little weird, I agree, to have a glass door for a bathroom, but I wanted to keep that theme of these black country homestead doors on the lower floor. So now I'm just putting in white doors for the bedrooms. These are from the French Chateau update. And I think that's it for the upstairs. Now we're going to put in windows. I've got a lot of new windows from the curtains event and also from the penthouse update, but I'm just going to go again with the country homestead windows, just keeping that theme. I really like for my Sims Free Play houses to have lots of windows. It's sort of a dream of mine to live in a house with lots and lots of windows. One problem I have with the curtain windows is that you can't place furniture in front of the curtain windows without, I guess, glitching them. And I'm not going to do glitching, so that's why I have decided against using the curtains in this video. So now I'm placing floors. The bathroom is next to a laundry room. You're gonna see that later. And throughout the downstairs, I'm gonna go with this dream homestead wood. I've gone with darker wood in that small room there, and you'll see why. It's because it's going to be a porch. 
So upstairs I'm going with the same tile for the bathrooms and different carpets for the bedrooms. Normally, I guess in a real life house, the carpets are all going to be the same in each room, but I like the idea in Sims Freeplay of doing different carpets for each room because it's just a way to show off more of the theme of the room if you choose a theme for the room. Now I'm putting walls up. The room with the pink carpet, I've gone with candy wallpaper from, I think it was like the gingerbread house holiday event. It was a limited time event. For the kitchen, I'm going with whitewashed bricks. For the downstairs rooms, I'm going with this really nice molded wallpaper from the French Chateau update. And then blue bricks for the bathroom. And then for the porch, whitewash bricks again. Okay, so that is the house with walls, floors, windows, and doors. And now we're gonna place things like the staircase, which is from the penthouse update. Here we go with bathrooms. So if you've noticed, I've got the downstairs bathroom and laundry room and the upstairs bathrooms sort of in the same spot in the house. This is because sometimes it's more efficient to have a lot of the major plumbing of the house located in the same spot in the house. So all the pipes are together, basically. The laundry machines come from the recent laundry event, which was a limited time event. If you missed it, hopefully it'll come back around soon. In the kitchen, I'm placing these homestead countertops in black and white just to match some of the theme of the rest of the house with the black doors and the white walls. Now I've left two blocks empty on the side there because I'm going to put something in there from the decorations. These decorations are from the French Chateau update. Basically it's this rack of herbs hanging and you basically have to place them first before you can place anything under them. Or at least that's how it was when they were first introduced to the game. I'm not sure if it's been fixed now, but I'm just doing that now to be safe. So I've put a little island in, and now I'm just placing some kitchen appliances. I really love the country homestead items. I think they're just gorgeous. Okay, so for the dining room, I'm going to splurge on one of the bigger size dining tables because the room is a bit big. Absolutely feel free to use whatever dining table you want. As I said, this is just for inspiration. 
If you need uh, some tips on how to get more simoleons and life points to pay for the house that you're building and decorating, please check the video description where we link to our frequently asked questions video where we walk through our strategies for getting simoleons and LPs in this game. So now I'm just placing other furniture around the house. I believe this big furnace came from the urban furniture event, as well as these sofas. And this bookcase. And also this coffee table. For the porch, I'm going to put a couple of rocking chairs just so that it's a little more obvious that it's meant to be a porch. And now we're going to furnish the upstairs. I've got two bedrooms, which I've decided are going to be for teens and preteens. So this blue bedroom here is going to be more of a teen theme. The furniture is blue and sporty to match the floor and walls. I think this teen is interested in drumming, so there's a drum set there from the teen idol hobby. Messy clothes. And a beanbag chair for lounging around. I'm going to give them this Neo Tokyo wardrobe because if I were a teen, I would love to have something like that. And for this pink themed room, I'm going to put in bunk beds. So maybe there are two kids living in this room. I guess if they're preteens, it's okay for them to share. Maybe if they grew up to teenagers, they'd want their own room to be fair. Maybe the family living here would move to a bigger house. Who knows? By the way, I believe that computer desk also came from the teen life event. And now I'm just going to put in some closets. These are from the recent Custom Closets live event. And now I'm just putting in some more seating options. I feel like that small French couch is a lovely option for this pink themed room. Now for the master bedroom and for the teens room, they're going to have this double seated white couch. This white vanity table also came from the custom closets live event. And this black and white bed, I believe, came from the French Chateau update. The bedside tables, I think, came from the urban furniture event. And then this TV again from the French Chateau event. Just adding little decorations and touches here and there. The master closet, I'm going to go back into the custom closets that we got from that live event and add in three of those there. So it's sort of a walk-in closet. Now around the outside of the house, I'm building this skinny balcony just for decoration. This is totally optional. Nobody has to do this. This is basically just trim I'm adding onto the house and it's pretty expensive to build balconies in the game. So obviously you don't have to if you don't want to. 
Balconies are unlocked by completing the balcony quest, which requires you to be, I think, at level 17 or higher. You also need to have completed the multi-story renovations quest and also the patio quest. We've got video tutorials of that on our channel as well. I'm also drawing patios around the bottom. Again, totally optional because they're a bit expensive, but it's just to add some decoration to the house. The patio and balcony paving, this black tile, is from the spa event. And these rooftops are from the penthouse update. So now I'm adding rugs to the house. I've just got a couple of bath mats in the bathrooms upstairs. Rug for the dining room. I'm going for these blue French rugs because of the blue in the bathrooms and the dining room table and even the glass in the windows. I think it just kind of ties all of that together. And I'm putting in lights. These tiny overhead lights are from the most recent wedding live event. I think these are basically game changers for the game. To be able to have overhead lights that don't get in the way of anything is really cool. But sometimes it's also nice to have decorative pretty lamps around the house. And of course, it's good to have plants around the house so that things look a little more cozy and warm. Okay, so that is basically the house decorated on the inside. Gonna turn on some lights. Turn on that furnace. So it's looking a little bare on the outside, so I'm gonna do just like some really quick landscaping. Obviously, again, if you're building this in your own town, feel free to do whatever you want. Just gonna go for these white daisy bushes since I have a few of those in inventory. And also this green flower barrel, a pair of those on either side of the porch seems nice. And then just lining the front with these daisy bushes. And there we go, that is the house. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this Let's Build video. Please let us know in the comments what you think and good luck building this in your own town if you choose to do so. As usual, feel free to subscribe if you're new to our channel because we've got plenty more Sims free play on the way. Thanks for watching.